Literally every smart device you put your hands on is connected with some type of network such as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Seeing as how smart devices are rapidly updating, you might think that your devices might have every important wireless protocol covered, but sadly, no. There are a couple of other networks with similar names that are actually quite widespread in the consumer space like Zigbee and Z-Wave in the smart home automation. But what makes them different from Wi-Fi? Because you may notice, most of the smart home devices are connected to Wi-Fi alongside of Zigbee and Z-Wave. In today's video, we'll try to find out exactly these things and which one is suitable for your smart home. That being said, let's get right into it. The Zigbee and Z-Wave are primarily focused on smart home applications rather than other kinds of data transmission. But hold on a second, you might be wondering, you have Wi-Fi controlled appliances that work just fine. Why do you need totally different protocols to unlock your front door from your palm? It turns out that Zigbee and Z-Wave have real technical advantages that make them better performing and more reliable for home automation. A big one is power consumption. You may already notice that your home Wi-Fi is incredibly versatile because it hogs a lot of power, which makes sense considering a Wi-Fi is used for bandwidth-heavy applications like streaming videos and gaming. But you simply don't need a whole lot of bandwidth to tell your smart door lock to lock or unlock the door or control other smart appliances. This means that you don't need a lot of speed, which results in huge power savings if you use a battery-powered doorbell or a security camera. However, both the Zigbee and Z-Wave operate speeds below 300 kbps, meaning that they aren't much faster than an old dial-up modem. But the result is power savings, and this is why many smart devices last for years without needing a battery swap. Well, now you might be thinking that Bluetooth is also quite a low power protocol, so why don't we just use that? We don't, because a Bluetooth device only works fine when the main device such as your smartphone is in the Bluetooth coverage. And once you take away the device from the Bluetooth range, it will automatically lose its connection. This can be a vital problem if you're trying to deploy smart home tech in something other than a small apartment. However, Zigbee and Z-Wave work as a mesh network where each device acts as a node to deliver the signal onto the target device. For example, if your hub is on the downstairs and the thermostat you're trying to control is on the third floor, your signal can be routed through your other smart devices to get there. On the other hand, if we talk about the Z-Wave specifically, it operates on a lower frequency than Wi-Fi, meaning longer ranges between nodes. Zigbee operates on the more congested 2.4 GHz bandwidth, which is often used by Wi-Fi though it makes up for this limitation somewhat by being able to hop through as many devices as they need, whereas Z-Wave is just limited to 4 hops. And remember that whichever protocol you use, many battery-powered smart home devices aren't designed to be used as hops, since this would drain the battery faster. On the subject of limitations, the biggest drawback for most people with either Zigbee or Z-Wave is the need for a central hub to control your gadgets. Since neither typical routers nor smartphones or tablets come with Zigbee or Z-Wave support built in, you'll need a hub of some sort that connects to your router so that your phone, tablet or computer can talk to it via Wi-Fi. And it will then send a Zigbee or Z-Wave signal to the devices you're trying to control. So in this way, they're not as straightforward as Wi-Fi. But seeing us, so many IoT devices have adopted Zigbee and Z-Wave. Well, the question may arise, which one is the best? Well, to be honest, it depends on you. Whereas most of the smart home appliances feature Wi-Fi connectivity but cannot integrate with each other, on the other hand, Z-Waves have a longer range and better interoperability as a proprietary standard. And the Zigbee has flourished in the commercial automation space, but has seen slower to ramp in the consumer smart home market. So that was all about the Wi-Fi vs Zigbee vs Z-Wave. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment and share with your friends if you have found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.